Hello everyone, thank you for tuning into this video. My name is Carlo Tazzi and I am a senior health information management student at the University of Pittsburgh. In this video, I will be discussing a personal health record or PHR that some of Pitt's past graduates have developed. First, I would like to discuss a little background on how the personal health record has made a surge into today's healthcare world by improving health outcomes. Then we will get into access and navigation of the Pitt PHR. A personal health record or PHR system encourages patients to engage with their own health care by giving them the ability to manage and keep track of their own health data. There are many PHR systems available on the market, with the majority of them being web-based patient portals and a few number of them being mobile apps. Personal health records have mainly been created by hospitals and electronic health record vendors. One major limitation of these hospital-created PHR systems is that patients can only view specific health data extracted from their EHR. The electronic health record system only collects data on patients that have been to a hospital or clinic visit. Patients do not have the ability to add important personal health data into the PHR that they collect in their daily lives. This is where the PIT PHR comes into play. This mobile health app provides patients a way of tracking their health with regards to everyday life. For example, a patient with high blood pressure could use this app to track their daily numbers in the app. Then physicians could use this data on understanding the patient's needs. Now let's talk about how a user can access this personal health record. From your mobile device, you pull up the link in the upper right corner of your screen. Type that link into your browser and it will take you to this page in front of you. From here, you click sign up. The screen will allow you to make a username and password followed by a series of basic demographic questions. It is that easy, you are officially signed up. All you have to do is log in from there. The next screen after logging into your account will be your dashboard. Along the left hand side is where you as the user gets involved. You will see a series of six different modules besides the main dashboard and your profile information. The first two tabs have drop down menus. When you click on one, such as the Health Records tab, a list of different login fields will be displayed. For example, at the top directly under Health Records is the Test Results tab. The Test Results tab provides the end user with the option of logging lab tests and diagnostic procedures, as well as managing tests that have already been performed by physicians that they have logged. Here you can see I clicked on the Diagnostic Procedures and then X-Ray. The app will give you the necessary information slots to log, such as body part, results, date, and notes. This provides physicians at various healthcare facilities the necessary information to treat a patient and a way to record results for patients to see. A main element of this app that many users will find beneficial is the Trackers tab. The Trackers tab is along the left-hand side. Once clicked on, you will be brought to this screen. A list of day-to-day -day activities and experiences that providers do not typically have access to based on a general outpatient visit. As I mentioned earlier, a user can log blood pressure into the app. Go to the blood pressure icon and click on it. You can now log your systolic and diastolic pressure for the day, date it, and provide a note if you want based on underlying factors such as stress you experienced that day. All this data is essential to improving care given to you by physicians. Thank you for listening and I hope this video shed some light on how you as the patient can get involved in your own care through a personal health record such as the PIT PHR. If you are interested in the personal health record or other aspects of how your data as a patient is stored, you can access inf this information on the Wellness Pavilion website.